poems, and she also participated in our first Kale Poetry Slam. Yeah. Alright, let's take it away. <laughs> okay, so I am not taking my surprise, but um, uh, okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. hi. Um, okay, I'm I'm gonna start with a poem called um, "The Man with the Midnight Shirt." Uh, this one is about how fabulous my boyfriend looks in a black shirt. <laughs> so it's "Man with the Midnight Shirt." The man with the midnight shirt walks next to me, spinning the whole wide world like a yo-yo, carelessly, flawlessly, on the tip of his bedtime-colored hands. He smiles a black art, transforms into a proprietor of this street, owning the sudden, irrevocable, desperate, hippity hop of my befuddled heart's beat. He exhales potions that smell of tobacco and flicks charcoal embers somewhere in mid-air that turn into secrets, conversing in between my thighs. Man with a midnight shirt has skin that tastes like a late night gin cocktail, leaves you with a hangover that won't go away for days. He speaks breathless incantations, knows the space between us is juiced, dangerously electric, aching to flare. He provokes it with a kerosene coated smile and pretends not to notice my lips, tongue, devouring hunger, a blaze, frenzy, mighty, and magenta kissed on fire. I'm going to read a poem about Singapore. Oh. Oh, it's really green, right? Hey, you're a garden country. Okay. Um, no, but you guys, you guys have a really great team. So, um, really, I, I love the KL plan. I, I came here all the way just for the KL plan. And, and Dunkin' Donuts and Dunkin' Donuts and A and W and Madame Kwan. But yeah, okay. Um, okay, this one's called a rant. Okay. I want to hear a poem about Singapore, about this multiracial island untouched by thin lines of segregation too faint to see, about why there are only four races when I see at least five different shades of brown every time I walk down the street. One of the kids in my class said, most lawyers are Indian because Indians are articulate, and then agreed he had never seen a mama shop run by a Chinese. I want to hear a poem about our national pledge. Uh, about why our national pledge says, regardless of race, language, or religion, but in primary one, I was ushered to the Tamil class because I was Indian. It was determined that was my mother tongue. As a six-year-old, I could not get them to believe. I did not know this foreign language the teacher rolled out between her teeth. Give me a poem about why we talk about integration and diversity, and then explain why when my parents came here in 1983, we could not find one decent Hindi movie on TV. <laughs> I want to hear a poem about our education system, our premier institutions that churn out genius children who have never spent time trying to ride a bike downhill without brakes or read a book just for fun because they spend 18.9 hours a week on tuition. Explain how we are being trained to be a thinking nation. If our elite are the cream of the crop, why is it when I ask these gifted kids for an opinion in class, not one hand goes up? The poets from what is now my soil write about the Merlion. Just the ugliest thing around, but the Merlion. <laughs> and so Stanford Rifle. Line after line in ink talks about these statues. But I want to know about the things that are really concrete. About campaigns telling us how to read, how to speak, how to smile, how to eat, how many children to have, how to love our families. Why are there no poems telling us to think, 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 dream, dream, dream in crazy, unpredictable free verse, not in strict structured sonnets, harping on on what should be like a broken record. I want a poem that explains why after 24 years in this country, people still can't pronounce my simple two-syllable name, and why it was okay for my chemistry tutor to conduct lessons in Mandarin and yell at me in English when I walked out. I want to read a poem about the National Day Parade, where people in blue and red merge and the voice over tells us, the flowing colors represent the harmony and love present in our diverse population, while somewhere at the National University, a club calculates race quotas. I want to hear a poem about Singapore, a poem about confusion and the wheels of change, 
A poem about how our soul is a shopping center and our opinions are out of range. A poem about how alien poems are in this country, how our National Day songs tell us every creed and every race has its role and has its place. What is mine? I have lived here 24 out of the 25 years of my life and I do not identify. I do not quite have my ground on my feet. I want to hear a poem about my country, you know, something that represents me. Thank you.